Just because someone gets saved and someone begins walking with the Lord, that doesn't mean we stop praying for them. I can't tell you guys how many stories I've heard of people coming to Christ. They get married to a good spouse and it's in their marriage that all of a sudden this same person that that was a believer in raising their children the way that they should out of nowhere, boom, I want to like go back to sin and, and, um, and live a sinful life. And so then they leave and they just do their own thing and leave the family, leave the the other spouse with the kids. And like, they just want to walk into that life. That wasn't my story, but I've heard that from many people. And I was talking with someone recently and I said, we can't stop praying just because our kids are adults and they are walking with the Lord. I'm so thankful and blessed that I have parents that pray for me because I'm nothing like I was years ago. But even though I walk with the Lord and even though I've chosen Christ, it's the enemy's um, the warfare and the, the temptation and what the enemy tries to do is actually way harder today than it was years ago. Not harder like I'm having a harder time with it. The more um, sly the enemy gets with his tactics, the more discerning we are as we walk with Christ. So while I'm growing spiritually and I'm at a much better place spiritually than I was 10 years ago, he hasn't stopped and he's not going to stop because I've said yes to Christ. There's a lot of people that, you know, Oh, they're a Christian now. And it's almost like the prayers stop. That's when we pray harder. Like when someone comes to Christ, we pray harder that that would be sustained, that they would stay in that place because the enemy is trying. The enemy will continue and continue and continue. And he won't let up. And, um, and not, and the prayer isn't even like, oh, that they'll just stay with you, Christ. Of course we're praying that, but like, that Lord, you'll give them the strength through the trials, through the temptations, through the struggles. Lord, just give them the strength that they need um, as they go through this. Anyways, whenever we come to Christ and we really come to Christ, you don't want to turn back. So I'm not saying that, oh, pray for them to hold on, to never leave the Lord. Like, no. Um, when you really understand his love for you and when you really understand the heart of the father, there's nothing else you want in this world. There's nothing more, you know, to want. He's everything we need. He's everything that we desire. Um, but I just want to debunk that stigma that just because someone's saved, they've got the source, which is correct. They've got the source. But there's still going to be trials. There's still going to be tribulations. There's still going to be suffering and loss and hardship. Um, And they still need to be covered in prayer.